Welcome to my residential real estate market update for period ending April 30th, 2019. What a crazy month it's been. So stay tuned for this update to find out why it's so crazy and what area had an increase in home sales of 98%. Let's dive in. Hi, I'm Jen McPhillamy, Realtor with Yeg Pro Realty. And today I'm gonna to fill you in on these crazy stats for April 2019 for Edmonton and Sherwood Park. We're gonna focus on single family detached homes. Okay, so Edmonton's up first. We are now inching our way towards a balanced market, which is super exciting. So your chance of selling last month was 16.78%. That is up 2.4% month over month. We're looking for a 30% chance of selling for a balanced market. So even though your chance of selling is going up, the prices are still staying flat. The average home price for a single family detached home in Edmonton last month was 419,000. Even though prices aren't going up, this is still pretty good news for sellers because that means they don't have to take a big price drop to sell their home. What's even more strange about last month is that inventory levels, so homes for sale are up 10.4% with 3,683 homes for sale. Usually when we see an uh, inventory increase, we'll see sales drop. But this last month, sales were up 29%. And that's for single detached homes. So 618 of those sold last month. So supply is up, demand is up. That is a pretty good indication that things are changing in our market. Something else that supports that is that the average days on market for home selling was also down. Month over month, it was down 16% to 57 days on market on average. So the prices of single family detached homes are still low year over year, but it's a good sign that things are changing with the month over month number. Keep watching the market over the next few months, but buyers, this may be your time to get in now before prices go up next year. Okay, now for Sure Park. This is where we saw the 98% increase in home sales for single family detached homes. That's crazy, that's almost 100% since last month. In fact, when you look at the 13 month history, Sherwood Park hasn't sold over 100 homes since May 2018. In April 2019, there were 103 homes sold in Sherwood Park. Well, 103 detached single family homes sold. So just like in Edmonton, the amount of homes for sale is also up, which is interesting. So they are up 6.6%. So in Sherwood Park, there's 307 single family detached homes for sale last month. Last month in Sherwood Park, they're already in a balanced market. They had a 33.55% chance of selling. And remember, to be in a balanced market, you just need to be over 30%. So that chance of selling is up just over 85% month over month for single family detached homes that is. So all these sales have actually moved the benchmark home price up. It's not up a lot, it's up by 0.79% to 452,662. Important thing is, is that this is also up year over year and not by much, but still it's up. 0.3%. Another important and interesting stat is that the average year to date home price in Sherwood Park for single family detached homes is up to $444,474. It's really close to the 2017 and 2016 numbers. So good signs. So if you're looking to sell, average days on market has also dropped significantly from 55 average days on market to 44 average days on market. So what's this mean to everybody? I, th I think it's a really important time um, for buyers, especially if you're looking to get that deal. The Bank of Canada has announced they're not moving their interest rates up quite yet, but it is expected that they're gonna move up as the G GDP grows. And it's still early, but our month over month data is showing a shift in the market. So maybe 2019 will be the bottom of the market and you'll see things picking up in 2020 as well as interest rates picking up in 2020. So if you wanted to get into the market and own your own home, now is the time. You still have low interest rates and you have lower home prices. 
As always, for you stat junkies, I have a ton more of stats for condos and single family detached homes, as well as the Edmonton Realtors Association infographics. They're all attached in the links below in the description. So you can download those and check them out for yourself. Otherwise, stay tuned for the next market update so we can see if this trend continues. Bye.